Hello, everyone. Uh, David from Mortgage Choice. It is Tuesday, the 4th of July. Uh, happy American Independence Day for those that celebrate. Uh, and the Reserve Bank has thankfully kept interest rates on hold. Finally, um, for the what is this? The first time since April uh, of this year and the second time in the last 14 months that the Reserve Bank has not increased interest rates. Uh, so if we cast our minds back to May of last year, when the variable rate was sitting at around uh, a lovely 2%, uh, we have seen a 4% increase in a very short amount of time. This is the highest and the steepest climb in interest rates in Australian history. So for those of you survivors out there with variable mortgages that have ridden the roller coaster with me and everyone else over the last uh, 14 months. Congratulations. Um, welcome to what I hope is the peak of um, the interest rate rises. Um, we may well see another rate rise in August, potentially in September. Um, the Reserve Bank is going to play a wait and see game over the next uh, month or two uh, and try and gauge how these uh, interest rate rises over the last few months or last 12 months have um, uh, have affected the economy and uh, then determine if they need to increase further. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another rate rise in September. Uh, usually we have a, a fairly strong increase in property um, activity uh, in September as we come into the spring campaign and the selling season uh, kicks into effect. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Reserve Bank decides to increase interest rates one more time in September just to try and quell any craziness uh, in the market and prevent the property market from taking off too much. Um, Reserve, Reserve Bank did make note today that inflation is coming down. It's just not coming down as fast as they would like. Uh, and there's a lot of connection with uh, America and how their economy is going because we are directly tied to their economy. Um, and in uh, June, the Federal Reserve, uh, which is America's version of the Reserve Bank, uh, decided to keep their interest rates on hold. Uh, they were widely tipped to increase their interest rates in June. Uh, and when they kept their interest rates on hold, that pretty much um, forced Australia's hand or the Reserve Bank, um, Reserve Bank's hand in keeping our interest rates um, on hold. Because if if America keeps their rates on hold and Australia decides to increase their interest rates, then our Aussie dollar then becomes um, higher, and it costs us more to import goods uh, from overseas. Um, sorry, the other way around, it, it forces our currency down um, and then therefore becomes more expensive to import goods. And if goods are more expensive to import, then that further exacerbates the problem with inflation. Uh, hopefully for all my economist friends out there, I haven't screwed that up too bad. Um, but in the end, uh, we are directly tied to America. So if they're putting rights on hold, it's not a surprise that we've done the same. Um, and um, uh, the Reserve Bank also mentioned that uh, we've got a very strong jobs market, so they'll keep an eye on jobs. Uh, they'll keep a jo uh, an eye on uh, wage growth uh, and also the inflation. I think there's a CPI report coming out at the end of this month uh, that will give us a good indication of what will happen in August. So uh, time will tell. Uh, hindsight's a beautiful thing, so we all sound like experts when we can look back and report about what's happened. Um, but uh, for anyone trying to predict the market, good luck to you. Um, as far as the property market is concerned, uh, one thing that we do know is that we've seen an increase in the property market. Uh, there was an increase in May and there was another increase by roughly 3% across the country in June. Um, so for those expecting a massive dip in the property market over the last 12 months, um, it hasn't happened. And I don't see it happening anytime soon. Um, so if you're trying to wait uh, for the property market to fall, to jump in to buy a property, um, I, 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 I just can't see it happening. I mean, good luck to you. I hope it does uh, for your sake, but um, I can't see it happening. There's very little supply uh, available and there is a ton of demand uh, and we're continuing to, to, to bring in migrants into the country uh, that will need a place to live. So um, yeah, I just can't see property prices dropping. I, I would say that it's actually going to go the other way. Um, and when in interest rates um, do eventually cool and potentially start coming back down, we'll see uh, property prices taking off like a rocket ship. At least that's my expectation. Um, for those clients that are in a little bit of um, a financial strife or finding it difficult with these higher rates, um, strongly recommend that you give us a call and talk through your situation. Uh, every bank is going to have their own hardship options. Uh, but before you call the bank yourself, let's have a chat and run through how you should present yourself to the bank because 
Um, while you may have good intentions, if you say the wrong thing to the bank, then it might limit the options that you have, or it might put a black mark against you and prevent you from doing anything down the track with that bank. So we just want to make sure that you're presenting yourself in the best light possible. Um, I believe this will be a short one. Uh, not much else to report. It is uh, very late. I normally have this out for you guys uh, on Tuesday afternoon, and it's likely going to be Wednesday afternoon before this comes out. Um, but uh, very good news in the end that we've seen interest rates on hold. And um, yeah, uh, enjoy um, the rest of the month, and uh, we'll be back to you in August. Thank you.